Hi and welcome. I decided to make a little pause with uh, teaching you uh, new components and to start teaching you how to use uh, layout managers. And the layout manager is uh, basically an object which uh, determines uh, size and position of your component inside of a container. And first layout I'm going to teach you is a uh, border layout. And uh, border layout is uh, set by default on containers like uh, JFrame, JDialog, or JInternal frame. So on those top level uh, containers. And uh, border layout object has uh, five areas specified by uh, border layout constants like uh, north, uh, south, west, east, and center. So let me create a uh, new class to show you how to use a border layout. And I'll name my class board layout. Okay. Let's delete these. And let's create a J frame as a top level container. Let's import J frame and let's pass title like Border layout demo. Okay. Also, I'm going to create uh, five buttons, and you will see why. Button, and I'll name my button button one. New J button. Okay. Also, let's import J button, and uh, text will be like north. Let me copy this. Okay, I made five of them. Uh, second button will be button two, and text will be south. Third button will be text will be center, and the name of the button will be three, four, five. Okay. Text inside the fourth button will be West, and text inside the fifth button will be East. Okay, let's make a structure. Okay, and to set layout on your container, you will have to call uh, basically a set layout method from uh, that class, like set layout which I called from my JFrame class, and I'll say new border layout. Okay, and I'll import border layout from Java hot package. Okay, and I'll start adding uh, my buttons on my frame. And I'll say button one. And I'll pass a border layout constant, and it will be border layout and north. So it will be on upper part of my J frame. And I'll say frame add button two, and constant will be border layout south so this button will be on bottom uh, side of my j frame button three border layout uh, center button four will be on west Okay, and the last button, button 5, will be on east of my J frame, according to border layout. Okay, we pass these constants. Now let's, uh, let's call set default close operation method. I'll say J frame. Dispose and close. Also, I'm going to 
pack method, which is very important, and you will see why in following tutorials. Set visible in the end, and it will be true. Okay, and I'm going to call simulator invoke later method, and I'll pass new runnable. This will be much easier in Java 8. But for now, we have to use this anonymous class. And I'll say new board layout. Okay. And let's see how our components are positioned in JFrame. And here it is, our JFrame. So, uh, so this constant defines a position of our button 1. So it's a north, and this constant defines a position of button 2, which is on south. And basically, this is a rough example of border layout, but in most cases, you will use a border layout to position panes and not uh, components like uh, buttons or text fields. So you will use it for positioning like uh, scroll pane, uh, tab pane, or JPAN journal. So that should be it in this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.